Hello everybody, Average Gamer, and welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program 1.2 pre-release. In this episode, we're launching our first satellite into orbit. Um, we're going to actually, well, we can, actually, let's name it now. Come on. Oh. Comsat 1. Alright, so here's the thing. Um, I don't. I had a bad feeling about this build, um, so I will not be shocked whatsoever if this fails beyond utter belief. We're gonna move these down a little bit. Do I have... the precision rockets to burn? Not yet. Uh, what you can do later on is put rockets, little tiny rocket engines, on these here that fire at the same time as the Separatron. And then what happens, fingers crossed, are these all Reliance? I would actually like them to be... No. I'm actually going to swap these out with the swivels. Perfect. Um, uh, crap, I lost track of what I was going to say. Oh, yes, yeah, so you put little rocket motors here, so it actually pushes them away, and also gives them a bit of a spin, so they kind of move away on you. Um, we'll probably do that later on when we have multiple stages, when we build a, a pretty much like a Saturn V rocket to go to the moon and back. So, anyways, here we go. We're gonna launch. We're gonna launch this puppy. Our first com satellite. Which I guarantee you is going to end in failure, probably. Because I just don't... I don't know. I have this bad feeling. So here we go. Launching the comm satellite in three, two... I already tell something's wrong. Three. There we go. Three, two, one. So our plan is to do just at a, at a hundred hundred thousand meters. I don't think we're gonna get to a hundred thousand now that I'm looking at this thing. Now that I'm seeing this in in action, I mean our boosters are already halfway. We're gonna try to tilt a little bit, and we can't even tilt. So, yeah, I'm trying to turn right now, and we're going straight up. And we're going to go to the next stage in three, two, one. There we go. We're going to go to about 10 degrees, and we're going to hold at 10 degrees. We're spinning. We're out of control. So that really did not work all too well as I was expecting because I was feeling not too comp not too confident with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to build one of our one of our go to one of our expected to work rockets. Get to go there. Uh, Separatron there. And I want to go one. Two. No, this is gonna be hard. Nope, no, it's not. One, two, three. We're gonna put a swivel on you. We're gonna take two off. We're gonna do two decouplers, like a so. We're going to attach. There we go. We're going to move them up just a little bit. So one of the fun things about this game is testing. We're going to add a fuel duct. Now, for adding fuel ducts, a couple things are going to happen. One, the first rocket you select is the 
fuel is where the fuel is going to originate from. Where you're then going to click to is where the fuel is going to. You'll also see a little arrow showing where the fuel is going. You can see it's actually pointing. It doesn't have to be like how I did it, where it was like gravitational. I just like setting it up like like so. They move again. No, nope, they're good. Okay. So now what's going to happen is we're actually going to burn all three of our engines at the same time. But the catch is, the catch here is that with all three of them burning, these two here and these two here are going to feed into the center line as well. So these ones here are also going to be swapped out for Reliant engines, which are a little bit more powerful than this one. This one just can, you know, move and turn and stuff. Um, and I think that's it. This should get us to 100,000 100, meters, no problem. We might have to knock off, actually, one fuel tank. Yeah, that should do it. You see, remember, this one has one as well to stabilize its orbit. So we're going to immediately turn on SAS right at the beginning. Now that I've done this, I realize I also forgot fins. Because it's funny, when you look at modern Atlas rockets, for example, um, they don't have fins on them. But in Kerbal Space Program, we need fins. We need a lot of them, actually. What we're going to do... You... Put two of you on the outside here. We'll put another two a little higher up. Since we're in science mode, we're not too worried about the cost of things. And we're going to do four. Like so. They're not quite centered, though, are they? No, they're off a little bit. There we go. Now they're centered. Perfect. And what I'm going to do... Let's do four winglets... Oops, four winglets right there. So these are really good for control, and this should just be there to help. All right, now we're going to launch, because that's the way I roll. Later on, whenever we're launching a payload, we're going to set up a specific actual um, rocket, an actual payload. Uh, rocket that we just launch our payloads constantly on. Um, doesn't matter the distance or the size. We're just going to use that uh, use that rocket to launch everything. Once we've created a good payload size rocket. So with that in mind, uh, we are going to launch in three, two. All three engines are good to go. One. Oh, there we go. Now we're at max. We're immediately going to tilt a little bit. Not too much. I just wanted to know that I want it to go this way. Since we're with uh, since we're using a um, a probe core, our controls are going to be I wouldn't say janky, but they're not going to be one hundred percent perfect. So you'll see our fuel is leaving here, but is not leaving here. We're getting a little bit of a shimmy. And it looks like it's being caused by the SAS. We're going to slow down a little bit. So we're getting the air effects. There we go. We're gaining a lot of speed here. Stage one is almost complete. We're at half fuel here. We're going to go stage only. So the outer tanks are almost empty. We're going to start tilting a little bit better here. I wasn't paying attention. There goes that stage. And there we go. Luckily, we're firing a nerf dart. And this ends up being way more efficient than I thought it was going to be. Holy crap. And we're going to start tilting over a little bit more. Try to hold it there. You'll see it's trying to push itself up a little bit. 
Damn, this thing was efficient. This was more efficient than I was expecting. Asparagus staging. Very, very, very good. Especially if you're firing nerf darts into space like I am. Speaking of which, uh, you know, let's get a little higher first. We're at 46. We're going to start tilting over more. We're at 65. We want to get as close to 100,000 as we can. Nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two. We're not even halfway through this burn phase yet. Once it gets to about eighty-five, ninety, we'll we'll slow down a lot more. But until then, we're gonna keep. We're gonna tell the rocket just to aim for prograde for the next little bit. Wow, this thing's. Crazy efficient. If we wanted to go further, all we got to do in this case, like we have the perfect rocket. 88. 90. Hundred thousand. We're gonna click here. We're gonna add a maneuver. We want to burn to about a hundred thousand on the other side of orbit as well. Fifty-four, seventy-five, hundred and ten, and a hundred. Hundred, hundred and seven, hundred and four. Okay, that's good enough. So we're going to need a 1 minute and 40 second burn, which means at 30... For 52. At 52 seconds, we're going to burn. Aim here. We're actually going to burn now. It's going to fight us a little bit. Because I have the wrong thing on here. So we're burning a little later, later than I wanted. We're also gonna burn. We're also gonna run out of fuel in this stage in a few moments. So, switch over here. And we're gonna blow. Whoa! There we. Damn. All right, that was uh, kind of crazy. We're still gonna hit the speed we want, but we're gonna have to change up our uh, our peri uh, our perigee here soon, or when we come back around. So we're heading back down into orbit. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, that's good enough. And my phone just went... Who's <laughs> sitting on my pen? Okay, so our perigee is... Or, yeah, perigee is uh 95 and our apogee is 230. wow okay what i'm gonna do first then i'm gonna click over here and we're gonna here we go well, increase it to about a hundred thousand but screw it, we're going to 200,000. We have so much spare fuel. Let 
194 going the wrong way there's 203 204 203 201 to 120 whatever There we go. Close enough there. We're going to swing back in to our probe for a second. And we're going to turn on these guys. There we go. Gonna be a five second burn apparently, so I'm just going to warp to the next maneuver. Really, really slow moving. Seventeen second burn, just so we know. I was going to tell it to try prograde. So theoretically at uh, five, eight seconds we'll burn. Two twenty, son of a bitch. Seventeen, sixteen, fifteen. We're burning against Let's switch back over the other way. Whenever you do a burn here, it's always gonna affect you on the other side. So what I'm going to do is warp, actually at 8 seconds I'm going to burn, 3, 2, 1, you know what, that's close enough. Okay, so now what we're going to do, so on this side we're going to bring this down a little bit. Uh, that'll be close enough right there. And again, we're just going to warp to the next maneuver. No, no, come on, come on, come on, go retrograde, go retrograde. Perfect. When we need to do our burn, it's going to be pretty much on the nose for what we need to do here. So one ninety nine, and you know what? That is close enough. So now. 
it's going to change even more in a second. So we're going to pop right here. Now we're going to look. 198. I'm going to stage here. Oh, son of a bitch. That engine did not turn on. Well, we're in orbit. <laughs> we're close enough. Uh, 198 to 200,000. We have our relay satellite set up. Stage view off. Power is good. I would like it if it would do con could would constantly points. To there. So I'm not saying that means we're always pointing at Kerbin. Nope. Let me turn this off. Nope, this always has to be on. Well, actually, if I turned SAS off, if I pointed it at Kerbin, there we go. Turn SAS off. Now what? Nope. It's always going to just do what it wants. It's always going to point in the same direction. Which is no big deal. It's going to receive this, the, the signal, as you can see, from Kerbin. Then later on, when we go to launch our next one, it'll be sitting out a little further. So, in the next episode, I will, oh, I'm will i probably going to, in between this episode and the next one, launch the next two and put them up. And you guys will just see the, uh, the After Effects. See you next time. Bye-bye.